Sometimes you might have come across a stubborn error like Windows can't format the drive, the drive is set to read only, or Windows was uh, unable to complete the format. There are several methods that can be used to fix that and you are going to look at the most effective ways in this video. So we have uh, three methods that you are going to look at. They are listed in no particular manner. Check three of them so that if one doesn't work, then you can move to the other one. So the first method, we're going to use CMD. That's command prompt. Open it as an admin. And the first thing you have to do is to open disk part. Hit on enter, it's open. And then we are going to list, to list the disk. So the command is list disk. Hit on enter. Now we have uh, only two drives in my computer with my SSD and the USB drive, which is disk one. You have to take cautions here because you might uh, select the wrong disk and end up formatting a drive that you did not intend to do. I'm going to select disk one, select disk one. If yours is uh, the USB drive that you're going to format is uh, disk 5. You are going to say select disk 5. If it is 4, you know what to do. So in my case, I'm going to select disk 1 because this is my USB drive, which is misbehaving. And I hit on enter. Our USB drive is now the selected drive. The first thing might be, which is an optional step, we want to check uh, the attributes. So as you can see, uh, read only status, we don't have that, read only, no, and all the other information. So I was interested in checking whether our drive is in read only state. And in that case, if you come across uh, maybe an error where your drive is read only, this is the command that you're going to use to remove a read only status. So you type on attributes disk clear read only and it will tell you that it's successful so if your drive doesn't have a, a read only issue you're going to skip uh, the attributes part after selecting the disk you're going directly to know the command that you are you are now headed to now we have our disk as the selected disk so we now have uh, our usb drive as the selected uh, drive we hit on enter it will take uh, several seconds and as you can see uh, we succeeded in cleaning the whole uh, of that usb drive so the next thing is uh, creating a partition creating a partition primary hit on enter and uh, we succeeded so we created a partition and now the next thing is uh, to make the partition active so it's now active so after marking our partition as active now we want to format the drive so we type on format file system equals to whatever format that you want your drive to be uh, you might want a fat 32 in my case i want ntfs ntfs and make sure you type quick otherwise it will take a very long time to format your drive so you hit on enter you sit down and wait and uh, right now we are done formatting the drive and as you can see now we can be able now to to open our usb drive and we are done so that's using command prompt and now you can see we are able to recover our usb drive so this method you're going to completely uh, destroy all the files that are there uh, but maybe you don't need to worry much there are some softwares you can use you can use to recover some of the drives I'll link that uh, the previous video I did on that in a card somewhere here the next method you're going to use it's a very simple one so the shortcut I usually use is Windows X then I go to disk management so make sure you select the drive which you are planning to work on and uh, in our case we are working on disk one so you right click on it and then you delete the whole volume so when you have converted your usb drive 
to a bootable drive, it might have uh, some partitions. You delete all the partitions and uh, they will all aggregate into one huge and allocated space like we are having right now. So now that we are in this uh, state, the, the next thing is you right click and then you create a new simple volume. You hit on next. This is the wizard that you're going to use. You hit on next and uh, next and then you can assign any letter that you wish you click on next and then here you can select the file system that you want and uh, all the other you can even uh, change the name let's use my name there so you hit on next and then we finish you sit down and wait it to format boom and uh, your usb drive is now back to life so in our that method we are going to use a software like uh, this one called uh, Partition Assistant and Limited Edition. Ha, huh. okay. Uh, we have so many of them out there and uh, they serve basically almost the same purposes. Unfortunately, most of them are paid, but they are worth. Like you can see, for example, this when it comes to resizing a partition, it comes easy for you. You can split, you can copy a partition, create a partition, delete a partition, format, change label, uh, wipe the whole partition. These are a lot you can do using this that you can't uh, using disk management. So in this case, we are interested in uh, deleting the whole partition. So you delete the partition as such. Or if you have several partitions, you can right click on it and uh, you can uh, delete all the partitions all at once. Like I said earlier on, if maybe your disk was used in uh, installing Windows, it might have, and especially the GPT format, it might have so many tiny partitions. So if you click on delete all the partitions, they will all be deleted. So we hit on OK, and then you have your drive looking exactly like this with an allocated space. Now that you are done, that's a pending task. You might maybe want to do so many things and then you hit on apply and that's when your commands will be applied so in our case i don't need to do anything else the only thing that i need to, to do is um to apply in case maybe i don't want to do that i can undo or discard all the commands so hit on apply and then hit on proceed it will ask you whether you're sure of what you are going to do in my case I'm, i am definitely so hit on yes and boom, congratulations, all the operations have been uh, completed successfully. So it's on OK. But remember, we just deleted, we've not formatted anything. And uh, we could have piled all those commands uh, together. To, uh, and then once you hit apply, it will delete and then format. But then it's still the same way. We're going to right click on it and then we're going to create a partition. We want an NTFS. We still have so many other options here. I like NTFS most of the time I like uh, using that and you can use this slider to select the partition size but uh, I'm interested in formatting the whole drive so I, I hit on OK we hit apply hit on proceed are you sure yes I'm sure then it will take some seconds and uh, congratulations so we hit on OK and if we go back to our drive then it shows up again and uh, this is where we are now our drive is now ready to accept any file that you want to throw at it going forward and uh, thank you for watching our tutorial so i'm sure if you've watched up to this end you definitely like our content subscribe um, continue sharing and like the video so that uh, youtube will know that you are making some good stuff from this end and uh, as usual see you in the next one